Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Wave 1 Power of the Prime Legend size figures. The whole, the whole line. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Scrapnel here is not in a box. That's because I already own the original figure. This is just a um, you know, re-edition of the uh, original Scrapnel that came out a while ago. <laughs> So yeah, and also mine is uh, modified with uh, repro labels. So yeah, I just wanted to show because that those are the one that I bought. I just found them today at the uh, local store, so I bought these. And since I already got that one, I figured I'd show them too. But I don't have the box, and it's a little bit modified. It, it's the same figure. So yeah, let's start right right now with this one to get it over with. So it's the same figure. It has the same articulation and everything. Like I said, mine has a uh, repro label, so don't mind this. Uh, otherwise, it's just the same figure. Uh, articulation, we got the pincer right here that uh, flops up and down. The arm is on a pole joint and another ball joint at the elbow right here. And everything is blurry, I guess, yeah. And we got ball joint at the hip. Does the split. Leg moves forward like this back like this but it's kind of injured with the uh, beetles but uh, legs in the back we have a ball jointed knee that gives more than 95 uh, more than 90 degrees uh, bend and a foot tilt right here but this is mostly for transformation and speaking of transformation let's get this out of the way also so yeah move the feet down move this like this peg the legs together like so close the pincers like this and then you're gonna uh, pop the chest like this and move it all the way around up like this bring the legs down well the, the, the pelvis moves down like this and you bring the legs all the way up like this and there's a uh, he pegged the legs together correctly. <laughs> There's two two tabs right here in the back of the legs. Those are gonna peg inside of the pelvis right here. So, so just move this over like this and peg the legs inside of the pelvis like so. All right. Next up, we'll just bring the arms up to get them out of the way. Take the beetle legs and snap them over like this. Bring the arms, the arms all the way in like this, and like this. So move the arms in, like so, and then twist them like this. And on the arms, there is a tiny peg hole with the, there's pegs on, underneath the beetle legs that it's gonna peg inside. So like this and like this. Now we have the scrap node beetle bug uh, transformed up. And yeah, he is pretty cool. The legs doesn't move. Uh, pincers does kind of move. He does have a big hole <laughs> inside right here that's kind of ugly, but yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. It's still a pretty cool Insecticons. So, alright, so now we can move him aside and get to the new stuff. These are really freaking cool. These are the... Uh, wave one these are all new molds so uh, I'm really psyched about them so let's start with Beachcomber this is our favorite uh, hippie transformer <laughs> uh, cool box art not much to say about it in the back we've got the uh, gimmick that he can hold a uh, Titan head a Titan master and yeah not much else to say, so let's open this up. And there's nothing much in the box. Let's set this aside. Bring the figure out. Alright, set this aside. And he comes with a card. Personally, I'm not a fan of the cards. But, uh, yeah, they do come in. So. And Quintus Beachcomber. Shapes Geological Formation. Okay, so he's a earthbender. <laughs> and the instructions are all uh, 
origami into a tiny piece of paper and yeah it's a simple transformation so there's no need much for transformation instructions it's really easy but yeah this is the gimmick of the headmaster that goes in the cockpit and on the other side is the transformation and a nice heart all right so let's set this aside all right so beachcomber cool figure uh the head is on a swivel that only goes side to side he does have nice goggles and a nice head sculpt focus yeah, a cool nice head sculpt uh, the arm is on a ball joint at the upper arms we do have another ball joint at the elbow and we don't have any thigh swivels we do have a uh, upper leg swivel and a ball joint at the hip the leg does move forward like this goes back like this but it's injured by this so you can move this back and have a bit more range of the uh, movement but uh, yeah this goes down and we do have a knee bend that goes way past 90 degrees but this is mostly comes in handy for the transformation <laughs> obviously nothing at the feet we do have some uh, uh, some spurs for stability but yeah he is a really cool figure and I'll just set him aside and go back for transformation later on. Next up, look, we got Wind Charger. Wind Charger is pretty damn cool. Uh, not much to say about the box. In the back, we've got Victor Prime. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this gimmick. Basically, it's just a headmaster that doesn't transform. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of weird. All right, let's get open. Open the box. Alright, everything just fell off. Cool. Some more stuff on the ground. <laughs> so, Wind Charger. Awesome figure. He's probably my second favorite next to Slash. <laughs> Slash is pretty damn awesome. But yeah, Wind Charger is pretty damn cool. Pretty much, it's pretty much the best redemption of Wind Charger so far we've had. Uh, the head is only swivel side to side. It just has a really nice head sculpt too. Nice visor right here and an Autobot logo right here. Alright, so the arm is on a uh, swivel and ball joint inside right here. So it does pivot. We do have another ball joint at the elbow right here. I wish the uh, side the side window would collapse on the arm. But yeah, it's still it's just a small figure. And we don't have anything at the uh, waist. And whoop, I just unpacked everything. We do have legs with ball joint. It goes like this. Goes like this in the back. We do have a knee bend about 90 degrees. So it's not that bad. Again, we also have some spurs in the back. That gives stability. Which is pretty damn cool. And it's pretty much it for him. Backpack cleans up nicely. It's just a hood. <laughs> All right, so let's bring this up. And finally, my favorite of the line, Dinobot Slash. So this is a new Dinobot. I would have wished they would have made a female version of it to, I know this is Hasbro and would never do something as such as, as this, but you know, just a, a wink at fans project version of the female uh, uh, Velociraptors that they've made recently. Yeah, it would have been nice. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if it's a female. Yeah, it's a female. Wow, I, I'm just reading the uh, bio right here. And a light tracker always finds her, her target. So her. So it's a female. All right. So I'm dumb. Uh, I know. <laughs> All right. So open this up. Take flash out. And throw this on the ground. Oh, just before Flash, let's just come back to Wind Charger. We've got his card. I forgot this. So yeah, like I said, I'm not a fan of the cards. Magnetize other robots to quickly form combiners. All right, so he's the one responsible for combiners. Cool, I guess. <laughs> 
and again his instructions again it, it feels like you know these tiny napkins that you go to a restaurant the wet naps that are all folded up and when you want to wash your hands at the Chinese restaurant <laughs> all right sorry so we've got transformation on one side oh no this is the headmaster gimmick again and this is probably the, the best headmaster gimmick that I've seen in a while and transformation on the other alright and alright slash now it's a pretty damn cool figure now uh, she does have some peg tits <laughs> doesn't look too feminine you ask me looks rather uh, generic face called and yeah my uh, arms is on a ball joint big ball joint uh, we do have a swivel at the elbow we do have a uh, another swivel at the upper arm and nothing at the wrists oops we don't have anything at the waist either the leg does bend uh, up like this uh, if we move these arms back she can do the split a little like so focus we do have a swivel at the upper uh, thigh and a knee bend that goes about 90 degrees oh and the foot you can't clip it off like this and it pivots but this is more stuff for transformation so you just have to clip it back in so yeah this is a uh, slash now we have all uh, the new waves plus oh, forgot the scrapnel re-edition in beetle mode <laughs> and if you want a size comparison here's the Dinobot Deluxe Dinobot Deluxe Slug and Swoop so uh, yeah this is the uh, nice a nice wave all right so transformation let's start with Beach Comber. and he's rather simple but uh, yeah uh, first of all we just straighten up the arms and you need to uh, flip the grill up like this and then you grab the legs and the torso and you pull so the head goes inside of the torso leaves a big hole and next up you want to peg the arms inside of this come to the feet and open up these uh, spurs that will make the roll cage peg the legs together flip the whole thing inside right here make sure the roll cage of the spurs are plugged in together it's really tight but it fits and then you lower the um, roll cage and plug it in so now we have beachcomber in doom buggy mode and he is really damn awesome there's a nice Deceptic uh, Autobot logo. We've got some nice paint right here. We've got some nice paint in the uh, motor right here. Uh, we do have the problematic hole in the back. Now it does look a little bit like a motor, but yeah, it's all empty inside. It's kind of disappointing. But yeah, he is pretty cool. Now the gimmick with the Headmaster. Now I've got my Headmaster here, my uh, trusty uh, Magnus. <laughs> so you can Put him in seated position. And come on, all right, like this. Like this and this one you need to be like this. Now you can open up the roll cage and you just place the move this up and you just place the figure like this. And he holds pretty damn good. And you can just pack everything back in. Oops. And close, oops, come on. <laughs> and all right, this is pegged in, this goes in. All right, so now we have Magnus driving Beachcomber. And it's a really cool gimmick for Beachcomber, it's cool, but Wind Charger is my favorite so far. <laughs> so, yeah, let's take him off because I'm gonna need him for other transformation. 
All right. The the only problem with him, yeah, that's that's it. Like you can squeeze it like this, it breaks the uh, roll cage. There's there's no mm, clipping mechanism, and the same thing for the other, the foot. They they kind of injures like this, and yeah, it doesn't hold too perfectly to me. I mean, you just peg it and don't touch it, and it's solid enough. The joints are really solid for this, but when you start playing with it, yeah, it's not perfect. It does roll. Like, you know, it's a doom buggy, so we'd expect at least this. <laughs> Alright, wind charger. Uh, wind charger, you need to straighten up the arms like this. Bring the backpack up like this. And like this. The head uh, needs to be uh, front like this. Oh, everything is blurry, sorry. So the head is like this originally in transformation. Mm. Everything's still blurry. All right, stupid camera. So his head is like this, and you need to bring it up on a double joint at the neck, and like this. It needs to go like this. So next up, you bring the hood up like this. You bring the arms up like this, like this, and then you just slide the bumper up like this. And yeah, you can flip the head around, but yeah. Here's the gimmick. Now you can take your headmaster and again slide it in like this. And it's really damn cool. Alright, next up for the legs, bring the spurs up like this, which reveals that it's the windshield. And then you just flip everything over like this. And just make sure that there's these tabs. These tabs need to slide inside. So this one's inside. This one's inside. And yep, the windshield right here just broke. Well, not broke, but it broke formation. All right. Now we have wind charger in car mode. And what is it like? Trans Am, Camaro. I'm not a car guy. So yeah, like I said, he is pretty damn cool nice figure nice mold i love the gimmick for the uh titan master we can see barely <laughs> uh magnus with his head bumping on the on the, uh, the roof <laughs> all right let's just open this up slide him open because i'm gonna need him for a slash all right so now we have winter and of course he also rolls perfectly I like the, the fact that the line has big wheels. Like uh, usually legend size figures has tiny wheels, but these ones are big wheels. So they roll really damn good. All right, Slash. Again, pretty damn cool figure. I love this mode. Uh, back cleans up very nice if I got, oh, I also, I also forgot about the card. <laughs> slash, Dinobot, can we focus? Dinobot unleashes maximum raptor beast power. Okay. Set this aside. And we've got instructions for Slash. Again, all cramped up. We've got the Headmaster gimmick on one side. Transformation on the other side. But yeah, transformation is rather easy, so yeah. All right, flash. <laughs> you can spin the, the head around, not that much. All right, no, never mind. Move the tails up, the tails on the back, flip it up like this. It, it, it doesn't lock, and this is like a complaint of mine. It's nitpicky, but yeah, it should have locked. Next up, bring the arms. The the, the, the Dinobot feet are on the side arm, uh, yeah, the, the forearm, so you just lighten them, and they're gonna peg inside of the wrists, like this, which is pretty damn cool. On the other side too, like this, move the arms up like this. Next up, you want to uh, bring the legs down, flip it all the way around, like this. Flip the toes inside. You want to peg them in. And then you, there's two tabs underneath the calf. 
which are gonna peg on the tits peg. <laughs> the booby peg. Alright, so like this. And finally you open up this strap, flip the Dinobot head all the way around, and you can close it back up. And we've got Dinobot slash all done. And just move the legs correctly so that he can so that she can stand up and move the camera so that we can see something. <laughs> so this is slash in Dinobot mode. So the head does open the, the mouth does open and close. The head is similar to all the other Dinobots, so it has translucent over gold, which is pretty cool. The arms are on a spinning uh joint uh, i don't know what to call this it's just a peg that enables them to spin the legs are still on a giant ball joint oh this ball joint just popped off all right and we got articulation at the knee and pretty much it the tail does flip up and down but yeah and we do have a uh, door on the back right here with nice details you just open this up and again you just slide your titan master dude inside somehow uh, what is it maybe we'd have on the other side like this no how does it go is it like sitting position why does it peg in <laughs> personally I would love like this <laughs> Alright, so according to the instructions, we have to set him in the other position, like this, with the broken knees up. And then he fits, yeah. He doesn't fit too well, but he does. So now we have uh, Magnus riding Slash. And yeah, the head does move up. I forgot to mention. Kind of looks weird, but yeah. So now we have all the Wave 1 done, and they are pretty damn cool. That's a really nice uh, wave so far, except maybe for the re-release of Scrap Null. I don't know why they went with this. I mean, he's a cool figure, but he's um, two lines up, two lines away. <laughs> so, uh, let's move him aside. But yeah, these new ones... Pretty damn cool figures. So yeah, the line just came out. Uh, I found them in my local store, so you can pick yours up there too, I guess. <laughs> and I highly recommend them. Really fun legend-sized figures. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.